Hey everybody, let's be talking this video about a broadcast. Android allow us to listen to a broadcast event that happen in the system. For example, when the phone get SMS, there is broadcast event happen. So we could listen to this broadcast and read the SMS content and SMS sender or the person who send the SMS. Also, when there is a phone call coming to the phone, so there is a broadcast event happen so we could to listen to this broadcast and read the, the phone number or, or we could block this call also android allow us to implement our own broadcast receiver and sender and everything so in this video i will talk how we could create our own broadcast receiver to listen to specific event then we will listen to the system event so first of all to get started i will open just mpt project then i click right on the java file i add a new class i will name it my receiver okay i'll click okay here this class will be will extend the broadcast receiver this broadcast receiver this internal class that constructed to deal with the broadcast event see he said you, you missed something if i click here he say okay you need to implement something you need to implement method name it on create okay implement this method please this method will execute directory whenever any broadcast event happen in the system now, okay, there is many broadcast event happen. I need to specify which event I have to listen to. So I have to go to my application, to my interface. Then inside the application here, I will add a new tag. I will name it receiver. Then I give it the name of my class. My name, my class name is dot my receiver. I will give dot my receiver. Then I close the, the tag. Here you go. Here I, I have to define the filter. So I will say, okay, intent filter. As I told you, there is many events happen in the system. So I have to specify which event I have to listen. Let's first listen to specific event that I do it. So I write it by myself. So I will say, okay, the action I, ha I will listen to Android name. Let me don't use, this is the event of the system that I could listen to, but I want to use my own event. So I will say, okay, the event I will listen to it should be com dot example dot broad cast for example this name of the event okay also i have to define the category so i will be android name i i was i will i will use default category so android intent category default then here you go i close it so that's mean this broadcast class will be fired only when there is action received name it when a broadcast action name it bro, uh, com dot example dot broadcast happen so this will fire this class to do something so let me fire this uh, class so let me send anything as a broadcast so just get started i will just get simple button and in this button i will say okay send a broadcast and i just define here my on click event i will say okay be you uh, send broadcast for example here you go here i will just implement the method then in this method i will send the broadcast we now android android use apc inter process communication to communicate between activities uh, services and broadcast receiver all this stuff communicate using intent intent is the way to communicate between uh, things here so i am in the activity now i want to communicate with receiver or broadcast receiver i have to use intent so i will say okay intent i name my intent then i will say okay a call a new intent this intent have to have specific action so what the action that i have to use it here i will say okay intent dot set action i give it the action name that i defined it i define it as be com dot example dot broadcast i define it here if you remember this is my action that i listen on then i will go next for the next i will say okay i need to send some data to this action i say okay put a extra let me put some message i will say hello from activity is that good yeah that's great now it's done i added my everything to the intent now i want to send it to the broadcast i will say okay send the broadcast this intent he will really understand what i'm doing and he will send this data to the broadcast or send it as a broadcast event so i'm sending broadcast so any make sure from this point any app available in the system could listen to this broadcast so there is no security here so there any app could listen to this broadcast event and read it any application have this class and have this main face file he could read the content of my message 
So here we go. Now my application could read the message and the message is coming here. First of thing, let me define bundle to get the content of the message. I will say b equal uh, intent content. So I will say intent dot get extra. I'm getting the extra or the key and value. Now I want this code only execute for specific event, only execute when this event happened. How I would know that? I would say, okay, if the intent and let me make sure intent then action uh, action name that I'm just making sure of them uh, from the action name that I get it so I would say okay get action the action happened so what have the action happened then I would say dot equal and ignore case to this action so if the action that I get it here because here in the intent I will get the action name I will get the extra data and everything because just imagine here you send intent and you have action and you have extra so here he received the intent so he could read the action name and he could read the extra okay here you go this will execute only on this action I will say okay let me get the message I will say okay string msg equal b dot get string get string I give it the key with the key name here the key name here is message msg good I will say okay get the message now I have the message here so I could display it. I say to us dot make text then I say context I will use context because here I have a context then I will say okay what's the message I will display then I say to us dot long then show here you go now if I execute this code you will see how I could send message from the activity to broadcast even There you go if I click now see hello from activity so I am sending a broadcast event from here then my broadcast received this event that's great now let me go to the next step let me listen to any incoming message so first of all I need to define here the permission to access to read SMS okay I will say read SMS or SMS read make sure from the name so it should be SM read SMS that's great next I have to add listening to the SMS here in my filter. I say, okay, action name. Also, I'm listening to another one. It's named SMS, just making sure. SMS, it gives the name. If you see, there is many event I could listen to in my uh, in, uh, re receiver. So the one event that I want to listen now, it is for reading SMS. So it will be this one, Android, provider, telephone, SMS receiver, then I close it. Here you go. Now I could get this event when this event is get it, so I will be here. So let me just also make sure if uh, the action intent dot get action because just make sure this one for SMS dot equal on ignore case equal this one. That's a great. This one will be executed for my message. So here we, we will see when SMS uh, receive it. Is that a great? Yes, that's great. So let me just do, do, do I will not show do anything just I will display a message I say hey SMS just receive it but one thing missing here our application is dealing with SMS and SMS as you know reading SMS is considered as dangerous permission so if you are using Android version 20 and after make sure to add request permission for SMS so just let me go to the, my Android tutorial and I go to the permission and I just making sure I'm requesting this permission also, so from line net, from line nine to line what line I will so I will see you twenty forty three here this here you go I would go to my activity I would just paste this code here I would uh, check permission this event so first I'm checking bold okay if activity compact then I just let me just minimize this one okay if the uh, uh, the action that I'm looking for is SMS receiver SMS is it is it is it receive sms read sms i think receive sms not read sms i'm receiving sms so receive sms but receive sms read sms all these are in same package so just if you ask for this one you could access to all other stuff for sms so receive sms then i will say okay receive sms sms receive sms receive it sms then i make sure here uh, um i don't need this one also, I don't need this part. This will be enough to ask. 
denial it. If someone denial it, I would say, okay, hey, someone denial this activity and he will not agree to use this one to us. So here you go. This is a message. I would say, I would say denial it. Okay. But okay, let me go to through uh, another process. I'm not only uh, receiving the SMS. I want also read my, the SMS. So this one, what will do this? Check permission. I just I just added in when application started. Here you go. I was added here. So this one will check the permission. If there if the device doesn't have permission to receive SMS, you will add it. You could add another permission here for reading SMS. You say okay. You open this bracket. Say okay. I'm I'm looking for another permission for uh, read SMS because I need to read the SMS, not just receive it. So you say okay, and you adding another condition. You will say okay, and I have another condition. This one will be a, will be read SMS read or read SMS read SMS. But don't forget, you go to the here and you add another permission user perm use permission for read SMS. So re SMS read or read SMS. Oh, I add the I add, I add the SMS read. I will say receive SMS now. Receive, receive it, receive it SMS. Here you go. So now I have access to read SMS, receive the SMS. Everything is good. Now I could read the SMS here. To to read the SMS, I will not go through many complex process. I have it here already in the place for broadcast. If you go look for uh, broadcast here, broadcast event you will see a simple code for receiving SMS. So here you go. This is this the code will execute. I could use it to get uh, SMS message. So I just copy it from 918 to 33. I could go back here and say, OK, here you go. This bundle for receiving SMS. So this one will be B if you want, because this is the bundle. I define it B. So I say, OK, bundle dot it is, should be not B, B or not bundle because I, I rename it so I just getting the SMS so here you go read read message then bold if it's a version uh, more than N and after please use this way of formatting for B for getting the bundle data or otherwise use this format because this duplicated now but this working on a previous version now here I have the SMS sender SMS message I could display it here you saying this way, I will say okay. Uh, I will display this one and uh, message, and also I could display the sender phone number so you could read them. Okay, here you go. Here you go. Now, this code could read the SMS. Maybe I, I added, I missed adding too many. Maybe, yes. Now I just add a new bracket to fix some problem dealing with brackets. Yes, that's good. So, this simple code will allow us to read. SMS in the previous version and a new version. You don't have to understand how it's going inside it, but just you have to understand this is will give you phone numbers, will give you phone message, message from this device. So let me run it and see what's happened. See when application run, he say, okay, this application need to send and review SMS. Would you allow? Okay, I allowed this application to do that. Now I want to send SMS to this device. I will go to this place. I will say, okay, doing call. I will say, just sending this message. See, when the message receive it, also my uh, my broadcast receive read the message. I say hi. When I say hi, my broadcast also could read hi. See, read hi and read the phone number that send the message. So now you could do anything. You could reply. You could reply to the message. You could use this code for replying the message by sending SMS say okay thank you or whatever so this two line you could use it for send message to anyway you give the phone number and you give this content but make sure when you send sms you have also go here and add permission for access sending sms and also add it inside the code when you because your code need also to be updated you need also add permission for sending sms if you see I heard just check it for two things. I check it for SMS received and SMS read. But now when I when I send, I said just only one of them. You don't need to send all of them because all of them I follow to one family, f family of SMS. If you're dealing with family SMS, you could just send one of them, receive it or read or anyone. You will understand you're dealing with the old family. You don't have to mention, you, do, you don't have, you could, you could open the bracket and write, and write this one. You say here, 
receive it or sms read you could that's not not wrong thing but it's not necessary because you when you call one you when you get permission to do one from from the sms or from sms family you will get access to another of them and you see how you, how we could receive the sms and how we could read the sms if you want it's better for you to add them to just do not confusing but see now i could read it and i could review it one final thing for some reason some devices could not run a, uh, the services if you did not give it a priority so so it's better to add here on your receiver add the priority this priority you say android priority and you give it the priority for this process you give it this number I feel this a problem with many users around the store, so don't don't be in the same situation. So just add this line, and you there is many devices will be working on because of the priority of the operation. Have we done? And thank you for watching.